Gerar was the seat of the bishop in the Norse settlements in Greenland and is a Latin Catholic titular see. Topic: <laughs> Diocese of Gerar. In the sagas it is told that Saki Orison, a wealthy farmer of the Bratali area, launched the idea of a separate bishop for Greenland in the early 12th century and got the approval of the Norwegian King Sigurd I Magnusson the Crusader, 1103-1130. Most of the clergy would come from Norway. The first bishop of Gerar, Arnalder, was ordained by the Archbishop of Lund in 1124. He arrived in Greenland in 1126. In the same year he started with the construction of the cathedral dedicated to St. Nicholas, patron saint of sailors. The diocese was first assigned to the ecclesiastical province of the German Metropolitan Archbishopric of Bremen. The diocese of Gerar was subject to the Archdiocese of Lund, present-day Sweden, from 1126 to 1152. Bishop Arnalder returned to Norway in 1150 and became Bishop of Hamar Norway in 1152. In 1152 the Diocese of Greenland, as well as those of Iceland, the Isle of Man, the Orkney Islands and the Faroe Islands, became suffragans to the newly established Norwegian Metropolitan Archdiocese of Nadaros now Trondheim. Second bishop was John Nutter, who served from 1153 to 1186. The third bishop, John Arneson, nicknamed Smeril, took office in 1189. In 1202-1203 he went on a pilgrimage to Rome and met Pope Innocent III. He died in Gerar in 1209 and was buried there, most likely in the northern chapel of the cathedral. The next bishop, Helgi, arrived in Greenland in 1212 and was bishop until his death in 1230. In 1234 Nicholas was ordained, but he arrived in Greenland only in 1239. He died in 1242. Olafur was ordained in the same year, but arrived only in 1247. He remained bishop until the mid-1280s. He was abroad from 1264 to 1280, thus hardly serving in his own diocese. The next bishop was Order who stayed in Gerar from 1289 until his return to Norway in 1309. The next one to serve was Bishop Arne, from 1315 to 1347. Due to the poor communication between Greenland and Norway, it was assumed that he had died and a new bishop John Scally was ordained in 1343. When it was discovered that Bishop Arne was still alive, Scally resigned and never went to Greenland. After the death of Bishop Arne in 1347, it took a long time for the next bishop to arrive, mainly due to the worsening communications. Ivar Bardsson, a Norwegian cleric, served as principal of the diocese during the interim period. Bishop Alfer was ordained in 1365 and served as last effectively residential bishop of Gerar until 1378. The Greenland diocese disappeared in the 15th century, when the ship departures from Norway stopped. Topic. List of residential bishops
Topic: Ghost See. Although the diocese had ceased to function, full bishops were nominated to the see until 1537, apparently none of which ever took possession. Henricus mentioned in 1386 Bertholdus circa 1407 Jacobus Trepp Friars Minor OFM the 27th of March 1411 death 1421 Nicolaus Robertus Ringman OFM the 30th of May 1425 Gopolinus Volant, Canons Regular of St. Augustine OESA, circa 1 October 1431 to 19 March 1432, next Bishop of Diocese of Borglum, Denmark. The 19 March 1432? Not possessed. Johannes Earls de Moyes, OFM. The 12th of July 1432 Bartholomew's de Sancto Hippolito OP 1433 death 1440 Gregorius 1440 to 1450 Andreas Jacobus BLAA Dominican order OP the 16th of June 1481 Deposed Matthias Canuto, Benedictine Order, OSB, the ninth of July, fourteen ninety two Vincennes Camp, OFM, the twentieth of June, fifteen nineteen to fifteen thirty seven. Topic Titular C In 1996, the diocese was nominally restored as Latin titular bishopric of Gardar, Curiate Italian, Garar, Norsk Bakmal Norwegian, Garden, Sis, Latin adjective. So far, it has had only one incumbent, of the fitting episcopal lowest rank. Edward William Clark, Auxiliary Bishop of Los Angeles, the 16th of January 2001 present. Topic: Remains. Presently, the settlement of Agaliku is situated on the same location. The site has been the subject of archaeological investigations since the 1830s. The cathedral has been the primary target of much of the archaeological work and was fully excavated in 1926 by Danish archaeologist Poul Norland (1888–1951). Norland made several scientific studies in Greenland starting in 1921 and ending in 1932. Many ruins of the Norse settlements can still be seen in Agaliku today. The ruins mostly consist of the stone foundations of the walls in their original positions so that the extent of the settlement, both individual buildings and collectively, can be determined and understood. The main ruin is of the Garar Cathedral, a cross-shaped church built of sandstone in the 12th century. The maximum length is 27 meters, the width 16 meters. There are also two large barns on the site with the capacity to have held up to 160 cows. Topic. See also. List of Catholic dioceses in Denmark. Western Settlement Middle Settlement Eastern Settlement <laughs>